is so cool. So this is Taco Tuesday Girl. Hey, I know her. Yeah. Um. This is not boring. Um. I agree with that. Um. My long form unedited conversation. I love it. Welcome back to Insanely Chill, everyone. Today, Kelsey is back with us. Hey. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And exciting news. You, your very first merch yeah. is out Yep. and available for purchase. Unfortunately, this is coming out not on the day, but a week later. So okay. I just realized that. So I really hope it's by this Black point. It's Black Friday when people are listening to this. It's what? So Black Friday. It's Black Friday. So you got to go get Kelsey's merch. Unless it's already sold out. Then uh, uh, sorry, sorry, but I you didn't should wanna... listen, subscribe to my channels and not just Cody's, and then you would have gotten it on time. Exactly. There we go. That's the real mm -hmm. lesson here. I did want to show it off a little bit though because I, I truly, really, really love it. I think you did a fantastic job. Who did you work with on on the design? Uh, her name is Emma. Okay. Uh, do you want me to pull up her Instagram? Yeah, sure. I mean, just to, just to give her credit. Because she did a crazy she job. She did an amazing yeah, this job. Really good. But like you're <laughs> one thing one thing I did want to say about this is um like I think you're really good at design. Generally, like you're just like a very creative person and you're really good with design. I feel like most in most cases, when I work with an artist for merch, like they give me a design and I'm like, Yeah, that looks great. Better than I could do, so let's go with it. Okay. <laughs> but you were really good at being like, no, I don't like this part. I think this needs to be more me. And through those revisions, you ended up with something that was like truly incredible and exactly the vision that you wanted. Thanks. Yeah, no, I'm really, really cool. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, her name on Instagram is at E-M-A underscore B underscore G. And her name is Emma. And she lives in Lisbon. So oh. we could only talk over email. Uh, because Lisbon, people that are in Lisbon don't have phones. The time difference was what really made it oh, an issue. Oh, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, Yes. Gotcha. Ah, I thought they yes. just weren't, weren't quite caught up technologically, but they do have... I believe she has a phone. Okay. Um, I know she has so, an email address. So this, tell the story behind this. This was a, a note that you wrote your grandma? and it was Yeah, well, I drew my grandma a picture, and I found it in my grandma's place, and uh, that was part of it. I wrote that. That's Aww. that's my handwriting from when I was a kid. And then true love, like the way it's spelled, mm -hmm. is was your grandma's license plate. Mm -hmm. And that's a tattoo that I have. Isn't that sick? Wow. That's, sick. that's what I'm saying. It's all like it's, yeah. she had a vision. It's and way she more made thoughtful it, than way yours. more thoughtful than me. I'm like <laughs> I'm like I come up with a stupid ass phrase. Yeah. And but then it's I'm still like, good. I work with my designer, who's great by the way. Like we've worked worked together for a while now. And then I I'm always just like, yeah, let's just do it. Fuck it. But that always looks good. Yours. Thank you. I appreciate that. But yours looks a lot better. <laughs> and I'm honestly jealous. Stop. <laughs> I'm jealous. Do you ever actually get jealous? Of you? Like, no, not like of, of me. I just mean like in general. Like, are you a jealous person? No. I don't I don't think you are either. No, not really. I'm more I'm more like to indulge in envy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just trying to like actually what do you in terms do you of like ever the get... seven whatever the seven deadly sins, right? Is yeah, that... yours in... is envy, not gluttony. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> wow, you <laughs> <laughs> you love food, like you are always getting the most food. <laughs> getting the most food? <laughs> if I had, like, you are. I'm, I am always doing the most. Okay, and and getting the most. Like you, like if I if you could get like fourteen cakes and like. Like, you would always just get, like, the most, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's true. Which I love about you. So, gluttony is one of them. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. And then I would say envy. You know, I try not to, but it, it's, I feel like you can't really... I feel like if, you, if you're an ambitious person, you can't really help that part. And I kind of use it more... It's not a negative form of envy where I'm like, oh, I wish that person didn't have that. Right. Thing. You know, sometimes it does, but I try to... Oh, no, that's bad. Don't think those things. Use without, it as motivation. Without it being pulled up, can you? How many of the seven deadly sins can you name? Uh, um, um, I can maybe name four. What are they? Gluttony. Yep. Is he, envy one of them? Yeah. It's yes. 
Jealousy. Jealousy. No. Hedonism. Nope. No. Arson. Yes, it is. Arson. That's no. definitely one. <laughs> That's definitely one. Yep. Yeah. Um, nope. Gambling. Nope. I'm um, thinking. Uh, farting. I'm That's actually farting. taking this definitely. question seriously. I learned that in Catholic school. Yeah. No farting. Maybe like... Yeah. Pissing, shitting, crapping. Yeah. No. That might be the same umbrella. Coming. Coming. That <laughs> one's actually coming. encouraged. Wait, that is one of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what are they? Uh, lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, and pride. Ah. Uh, oh. Classics. Yeah. All... All tried and true classics. Yeah, they really are if you yeah. think about it. Yeah. Sloth. Sloth. Ugh. <laughs> Classic. Classic Sid, sin. Sid from Ice Age. <laughs> Seven deadly Sids. <laughs> Thank you very much for that joke. Ugh. So I want to confront you a little bit about the oats that I made you this morning. I'm going to confront you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I actually was saying. Not a joke. Okay. Okay. I made you oats. I thought they were very good. I made them how I usually like them. Mm -hmm. Which is when you presented them to me and you called them Cody's bad oats. You thought they were very good. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a cute little self-deprecating name that I have for them, but I actually really enjoy them. Okay. And I, at first it was a little bit slimy for me. Okay. And then I had, when I was, you know, like doing my hair and stuff, I, they were sitting there and they were getting a little colder. And as they got colder, they actually got better. Oh, okay. Hmm. And then I was enjoying them by the end of my my time. Mm. Yeah. So you ended up liking them. Yeah. So what would you rate them out of 10? Seven, six. And there you have it. It's not bad. You you eat the Cody's Bad Oats, right? I do, actually. Yeah. You make them for Ryan? <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, that's the sweetest thing you've ever done. <laughs> That is so sweet. He makes I should have known. Oatmeal every, every morning. You know, yeah. so you know how, sweet. You know how Kevin brings in chili into the office. Yeah, Kevin's chili. Yeah, mine's. I bring a huge <laughs> vat of oats. I thought that was so <laughs> cute that you brought everyone oats when in I the morning. Shock on Kelsey's face. No, Whenever you make Ryan. Oats. I thought it was so sweet. Um, you make them yourself. I do. We've been eating oatmeal recently, my wife and I, and but we do instant oatmeal in the morning, which is not that good because it's we just have to be in such a rush. Right. But then I start putting blueberries and maple syrup in it, and I'm like, oh, it's Cody's bad oats. Okay. Wow. And, and a little little granola now. You should add a little too. peanut, yeah. like a little almond butter, perhaps. Yeah, or just get crazy and add like chili powder. Yeah. Yogurt. Everything but the bagel seasoning. Yep. Oh, celery. Start fucking it up. Celery probably wouldn't be bad. You know what I mean? Doesn't really have a then they would like a tuna casserole now. It's yeah. 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 Cody's terrible it's true. oats. <laughs> um, I did want to talk about um, kind of how like social we've been. Getting. Oh my god! Yeah, I was just I was just talking about this last night with my friends. Were you? Yeah. What were you saying? We have a lot of social events this week. We do. I know. And, and last week. Yeah. And the week before. Like what? Are, what's up? What are we doing? What are we doing? We went through this period of like three months where we didn't really do anything, and had no desire to really. It, exactly, and now all of a sudden it's like it, it's like social hour every single night. Yeah, and it's like who do we think we are? Yeah, and it's also like, what? Why? Why are we doing this? Every time I'm like, we should probably be home. It's fun though. Last night was fun. Last night was a lot of fun. It does you it, it does usually end up being fun. Yeah. Like I think tonight's gonna be fun. Yeah. Yeah, tonight's fun. Um, Maybe. I, I really have no idea. It does feel like one of those things where it's like it's some of this stuff feels we've been getting invited to these things. We have this new PR, they're really good. They've been inviting us to these things. Like we're going to something cool on Sunday. I don't want to ruin it because I don't know if the video will be out by then. Okay. But we're going to the AMAs, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. It should be out, hopefully. Okay. That's cool. We get to like walk the carpet and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. It's like Hollywood, but it, it does feel a little cool. It it's it it'll be cool for sure. Taylor Swift, maybe. Yeah. You think so? <laughs> what if she is? What if she is though? Ryan's a big fan of the album. I know. She probably will. Be. She might be. She goes she's, to those things. No, she and well, sometimes she doesn't. Sometimes she does. And this time she is going to award shows. Yes. And she's nominated for some stuff. <laughs> okay, you run into Taylor Swift. Yeah. What would I do? Mutual friends. Yeah, I don't know. Just you're near each other. What are you doing? She would go. Bup, 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 bup. I would probably just be like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't say anything. You would burst out in tears. I would be crying. Yes. Perhaps. 100%. I honestly have no idea. I've thought about this so many times. Sure. 
so many times. I have no idea what I would say. Um, you talk about it a lot too. <laughs> see, meeting her? <laughs> like last night we're at post show and she's like, what if, what if he brings out Taylor Swift? I'm like, why the fuck would he bring out Taylor Swift? Okay, but I and she's like, every single time I go to a concert, I think that. That's true, but I know it's stupid. Like I wasn't like, he really might bring her out. But like I was laughing about it when I was saying it. Yeah, I know. I, I, I like that you think about like the possibility. I do. Like what would happen if, what would it be like if he brought her out? I what mean, would they even sing? They don't have a song together. Well, they don't have to have a song together. <laughs> so then what would he do? They could sing one of her songs. It's like a thing that people do. Okay, true, yeah. Like, okay, have you guys never must have never been to a Taylor Swift concert here? Who did she bring room. out? Can't she say always brings out like special guests, always, yeah. and then they just sing like one of the guest songs together. And she it's had like a whole the, tour where every stop she brought out every single from stop. The town. Yes. That's, yeah, I think, wow. and yes. it was so cool. Like yeah. it was like, who's the special guest going to be? And then they would just sing. Like she didn't have a song with them because. She barely ever has any features because she doesn't need them. Right. But she would just sing one of their songs with them. And then it was like cool to see. Remember Troy Sivan came out when we were in LA? Yeah. 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 I think artists should do that in every single city they go to is bring out a special it's guest. It's so exciting every time it, it really like, is. Guest comes out. Yeah. Yeah. And we were all we were actually we were talking to someone yesterday and they were like, Well, at the forum show, Jack Black was there in the green room and he was going to come out. They were trying to convince him to come out. Wait, really? For the shows last night at the crypto arena what? and just dance. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so cool. I know. Damn. And crazy shit. We met Dave Grohl last night. Yeah, what? we did. Mm -hmm. We wow. met Dave Grohl last night and we talked with him for like five minutes and we made him laugh. Uh, Cody did. Can we get How'd you make him laugh? On it wasn't really directly. Yeah. I said a joke and he was not listening, but then someone repeated it and he heard that and laughed and then looked at me like he yeah. knew I he was knew the he, one who said yeah, it. Yeah, originally. yeah, yeah. He did he did oh. look at Cody and laugh after. Maybe he was laughing like this guy stole your joke. <laughs> it's he was pretty... laughing at you. Yeah, he probably. just believe your joke just got stolen. Yeah. That's what he was probably saying. That's probably what it was. He felt bad. Yeah. He was just laughing in my vicinity. No, he was laughing with you. But it was really exciting. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Like we were saying like, holy fuck, that's Dave Grohl. That's insane. Right? Dave Grohl is like. No, big time. Big time. I yeah. know. Huge. No, I know. It was wild. And we like weren't going to talk to him. And then He's from the Foo Fighters, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. and yeah. Nirvana. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> but Ender I, No, no, I know. I know. Here come the I comments. Just am, I have brain rot. <laughs> but so. also Nirvana. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yes. And I know that. He knows, you guys. The very first song I learned on drums was Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters. Okay. Ooh, Give so they us have a very something. what? Give us a little. Okay, sure. No, that's Enter Sandman. That was actually the first song I learned how to play. Learn to fly is and I talk about it. Carry on. Yeah. Reasons I mean. You can't see me, but I'm air drumming the fuck out of this. But it's you. No, they can't see you. You're on a video. No, 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 I no, fell no. into. Hey, so he I sang it, wow. but we are not sure. So that's what I did for okay. Dave last night. You did. <laughs> and yeah. I did that. <laughs> yeah. And he thought it was really funny. Yeah. You should do that uh, if you meet Taylor Swift at the AMAs. Yeah. Play Learn to Fly? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it's you. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what if Taylor Swift brought out Dave Grohl at the AMAs? I'd be like, Dave. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> Remember his night. joke? <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by my friends at SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets uh, to live events, insanely simple. I've got the app on my phone right now, and uh, it's it's clearly to me the easiest way to buy tickets. I'm just gonna pull it up there. There. Oh, retry something went wrong. Hold on, just a second. Seat Geek right there, and let's see what we got going on. Elton John tomorrow at Dodger Stadium. That's gonna be uh, sick. Are you really nice? Ryan's going to that. He's looking forward to it. Uh, a lot of good stuff going on. A lot of sports going on. Um, whether it's concerts, football, basketball, hockey, or more, SeatGeek puts tickets from all over the web in one place to make buying simple. 
with so many amazing concerts happening right now, uh, I don't want you to miss out. I'm talking Bad Bunny, The Weeknd, Harry Styles, and so much more. SeatGeek puts... SeatGeek wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're in, when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means good. Red, of course, means bad. Uh, and you're all getting hooked up with the code CHILL for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code CHILL. Make sure to click the link in the description uh, to download the app. So then that was last night. And then tonight we're going to this like, you know, the brand Lowe's. It's like a... Lowe's Hardware. Great hardware shop. It's a really great hardware store. No, it's I don't even a, think that's how you would pronounce it. It's like Lua. It's like Lua. Lua. <laughs> it's a really sick designer brand. We're going to this party tonight. It's like they're opening a store on Rodeo Drive and they're doing like a opening party. It's L-O-E-W-E. It's, yeah, it's like a crazy designer brand. Mm-hmm. And it's I like guess cool. when you go, when you get invited to these things, you can like ask them if they'll dress you. And they said yes. So yesterday we went to this fitting. Mm-hmm. Well, they said yes to you. They didn't have it in the capacity to dress me. That was in a direct quote. But they did give me a purse. Yeah. And so I bought myself shoes. Yeah. It just <laughs> you sold the purse. So yeah. You could yeah, buy yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Another brand's shoes that I'm gonna wear tonight. <laughs> also, it's funny when you told that girl, you're like, I bought the one of the girls doing the fitting. You're like, I actually bought the silver shoes, and yeah. she was like. Oh, those are those are really hard to pull off. <laughs> she did say like, that. And I was like, thanks. They're, yeah. She was like, well, I'll know who you are. Like, I'll look out for the shoes. And I was like, well, now I don't think I'm going to wear them, probably. <laughs> um, but thank you. But she was nice. She was super nice. Yeah, she gave you a purse. She did. They, they, were, they were really, really nice. It's just this whole thing, stuff like this. There's no, like, actual ROI, right? I don't know. I feel like for something like a podcast or yes, yes, I know I use ROI. What does that even mean? <laughs> but I'm saying, just talking about like, you know, hanging out and you're like, there's no ROI. For this. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I'm like this. Mm-hmm, true. I'm saying no idea. return on investment. Like, yeah, when you don't don't because it's part of our industry is like numbers. It's everything is measurable. You post something, you see how many views it gets. You see how much AdSense it generates mm-hmm. for stuff like this. It's like relationship building. It's so vague. I can't help but feel like, and it's so like vain. You go and you try on these clothes, you look in the mirror, you think you look sick, and then you go to this party where you're supposed to like act cool and it's all about like relationships and nothing. It just feels like, I can't help but it feels like a um, indulgent and a little bit of a waste of time. Ooh. But you have to remember, it's like if you want to, you kind of have to play this game. Well, it's nice to like make, like build relationships with people. No, I agree, but don't you have to agree like sometimes we're at these things it kind of feels like, "Oh fuck, why are we here? We should just yeah. be at home with our pets." Well, yeah, <laughs> but I think that a lot. Same. But I think that I was like I don't know, I just feel like it's cool like it was cool to go yesterday and I was just talking to that girl the whole time when you were trying stuff on and I was like, "Oh, like we got along." Yeah. Maybe next time she'll remember that like we got along and then they will have it in their capacity to dress me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. But, but so even it's pretty that- important. Like those relationships are just as much, if not more important than like the numbers of it all. Yeah. Sounds like you're describing an opportunity cost. If opportunity. I can throw any- if you can, yeah. yeah. If you're, if we're throwing out finance terms, opportunity yeah. cost. That's the only I one I love I know, finance so. terms. I understand them and appreciate them. Just half <laughs> of my brain is like when I'm doing this stuff, it's like, oh man, this is like, cause you say it and people roll their eyes. Oh, you're going to a fashion event show and you went to a fitting. Mm-hmm. So Hollywood. But then, I'm there and I'm like, this is kind of fun. Might as well take advantage of this opportunity while we have it. It's like part of work. I agree. But I think it's also something that you can get totally sucked up in and wrapped up in. And then you waste all your time doing this. Yeah. That doesn't generate anything. Like this is not going to, this is not going to help our YouTube careers. Right. But I think that like, I think that we're past the point. Like we like have a pretty normal social life like in general like we hang out with our friends who live out here and we it's chill and we just live a pretty normal life and so going to these things like doesn't and we're older it's like we're not gonna get like that sucked up in it all yeah does feel like we're doing it like every single night though (laughs) you know what i'm saying no i know for some reason i don't even know why i'm trying to explain no, for some reason now in the fall, it's like before Christmas time. It's like everything happens yeah, now. It's like the busiest time. It's crazy. I know. 
And then, and then there's nothing. Mm -hmm. Except for something. Yeah, true. Um, we hung with Rhett and Link a little bit last night. We did. That was cool. Yes. It was good to hang with them. Yeah. We were having fun. I never met Rhett. Neither. Really nice, nice guy. guy. Really nice guy. Yeah, he was really nice. Super tall. Yeah, very tall. Yeah. Um, was this room just like... You guys, Rhett and Link, Dave Grohl, Post Malone. Like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, there was about 40 other people there. <laughs> okay. They were Tyler all doing Yahweh. Learn to Fly for Dave. I think, a single yeah. fly line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One right after the other. I think 80% of the people in that room were smoking something as well. For sure. Nice. So, yeah. I honestly felt like I was like contact high off a lot of shit. Mm. I know that sounds like the nerdiest thing, the dweebiest thing. He I kept said. saying that, and I was like, "Okay." You couldn't even see. It was like, "Where?" Stop saying that where? so loud. <laughs> Babe, I think I'm contact high. <laughs> Mr. Girl, are you smelling that? I'm getting a contact <laughs> <Yeah>. high. <laughs> Cody, stop. Mr. Girl. Sorry, I'm having trouble seeing you with all this smoke in here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there was that one guy that came up to us though and was like, "What if I just turned off the music and asked everyone to put out their <laughs> like cigarettes and yeah, yeah, stop smoking?" Yeah. yeah, that was funny. That was Orville Peck. Yeah, I know. Met him too. Good guy. You listen to his music at all? I've heard it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just trying to picture like what room. It was it's just like a-, like a room, okay? Classic, <laughs> classic room. Just four picture- walls. Kind of like a lot of smoke. And then celebrities everywhere. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> picture, um, okay, picture a beer pong picture, table. Picture the Lowe's store <laughs> on Rodeo Drive, right? Okay. We're there getting fitted for clothes. Yeah. Cody. Dave wow. Grohl and Taylor Swift are standing there. Okay. I'm air drumming. Wow. Learn to fly. Okay? Yeah. Fever dream. I'm tracking. Yeah. yeah. No, it was just a normal. It was just, yeah. It was we're, very we're normal. Playing beer pong. Kelly and, Yahweh was there. That yeah. was cool. Yeah. He's very nice. Mm hmm. And Zach Bia. Zach Bia. <laughs> now we're just name dropping. I hate this. Can yeah, I me ask, too. Did you guys win Shakers. at beer pong when you played? No. No. But we, we did came, do pretty well. We came close. Last you, cup. Oh, one okay. to one. Who did you play against? His post and his DJ. Smitty. Ooh. Yeah. So they kind of have home field advantage because they're probably playing. They're constantly. Play constantly, constantly. They're really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah. So last cup is admirable. That's a good, yeah, good we, showing. Yeah, we did pretty well, honestly. Yeah. For like two people who haven't played in a while. Yeah. I don't know, actually. You probably played this past weekend. Yes, I did. I played a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, But yeah, we did well. Anyways, it was a fun night. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the social stuff. Just because it's, I don't know, it's, it's interesting. It is interesting. A lot of it's not as like glamorous as... It seems like it is. Like when we went to that Harry Styles movie premiere and I was like seeing other people's posts about it, I was like, were you guys at the same thing as I was? Like we just yeah. sat and watched a movie. Yeah. People were like, amazing night. <laughs> I know. And it's I like, was... what the fuck? We just walked in, got popcorn and sat down. Like yeah, we just went to a movie theater. Like it was like, I was like, how is this? It's just, it's not as like crazy as it seems. I know the red carpet and everything makes it seem like this is crazy. I yeah. don't know, like social. Like I don't know. It's funny too because we everything smaller to, and like not as like cool. Well, when we talk to Emma about what it's like to go to um, the Met Gala and like these other crazy fashion shows that she goes to, it's interesting like getting those BTS comments too because it's yeah. kind of the same thing. It's it just like makes you. It's a good reminder that nothing is ever as good or as bad as it seems. Right. Yeah. It's just still just an event. People don't. People are awkward. They stand around. They don't totally. know what to say to other people. Totally. Yeah. Um. So, this comes out like right after my birthday. Oh my god! Right after Thanksgiving. And right after Thanksgiving, yeah. yeah. So I'd like to give thanks. Me too. For another year. Mm-hmm. Another wonderful year. Mm-hmm. Um, all the stuff. Your merch. Okay. Wow, that's wow. sweet. That's and really you can get sweet. that at. TrueLove.com. T R U L U V E dot com. Mm-hmm. Forgot to mention that earlier. Oh. L U V E, Kenny. Oh, way to fuck it up, Kenny. Sorry, Kenny. I'll always have your back unless you spell my merch wrong. <laughs> Woo! <There we> yeah. <laughs> One it's day. 
Now I got to buy some after all that. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it better be sold out by the time this comes out. I bought 65 pairs of sweatpants. <laughs> Hey guys, it's never too early to play holiday music and it's never too early to start thinking about gifts. Whether it's for a friend or the friends in your pants, uh, you can make this a season to be jolly with Manscaped. Do your little drummer boy a favor and use the Lawnmower 4.0 to avoid another silent night in the bedroom. Then add in Manscaped's top of the line shower products to have the people thinking all I want for Christmas is you. Santa cares about his sack and so should you. Look nice when you get naughty by going to manscaped.com and use the code CHILL for free shipping and 20% off. The Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 is the one-stop shop for the man who deserves it all. It has everything needed to help you deck the halls from face to balls just in time for mistletoe season. The Platinum Package has each product from the best-selling Performance Package Plus Ultra Premium Body Wash, Ultra Premium 2-in-1 Shampoo, plus conditioner and ultra premium deodorant. It's the best way to smell fresh from your Santa hat to your candy cane. It's time to make sure you don't smell like a reindeer with the Platinum Package's shower products. All of Manscaped's shower gear is sulfate-free, vegan, and made to have your skin feeling hydrated and smelling fresh. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code CHILL at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code CHILL. Manscaped. Get your jingle balls ready for the holidays. Before we move on, can I just ask, is there anyone else besides Taylor that you guys are looking forward to like maybe bumping elbows with at the AMAs? Um, Ryan Seacrest wouldn't be there, right? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Who did you say? Just Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> There's literally only two celebrities that I would ever like not be able to talk to when I yeah, met, right. and it's them. But um, I mean, if like... Alexander Daddario was there. I mean, I wouldn't not say what's good. Totally. <laughs> or Alison Brie. Okay. I mean, I'm not trying to fuck Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> 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 but oh sure. God. No, I I don't know who goes to the American Music Awards. I have no idea. Musicians. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, yeah I like a lot of musicians. Me too. Mm-hmm. Um, who should we? Pull up my playlist real fast. See what I've been listening to. Okay. Um. Let's see. Um. Should I do that too? I've mainly been listening to Taylor Swift. On my playlist here, it's just um, Afro beats. Yeah, yeah like Cody's <laughs> is just yeah. Like Celine Dion. Add a Kunle Beast Gold. <laughs> kidding. I'm not listening to Celine Dion. Here are the uh, nominees. Should we try to guess who's gonna win? Omale. Yeah. Fireball DML. Okay. Kunle Gold. So here, these are the people. Well, in this category. That I would be excited to see. Yep. Taylor Swift, okay. Drake, Bad Bunny for sure. Harry Styles. Yeah. The weekend. All any of. These yeah, people. I would be excited about anyone, but Taylor Swift and Drake both being nominated for Artist of the Year and the year that I'm going to the AMAs. Isn't that kind of beautiful? That is pretty is. beautiful. They're my top two artists. So you liked the new album? Taylor's. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is another thing that I want to talk about. We're we we. we we're going to the show. Yeah, she she announced a tour. Yes, and uh, we have a our friend. One of our friends bought a box. He got a bunch of people to go in on a box. He has that secured. We're gonna pitch in and go as part of this box. So we ha- we're going to the concert. Yes, but so then why yesterday mm-hmm. were we both sitting on the presale mm-hmm. trying to get tickets for another show? You know the answer to that question. I know you know the so, answer to that question because I see the answer written on the screen. I know we're doing a podcast. So. I know, but I'm just saying, don't make it seem so fucking crazy <laughs> that we were doing you. that. Oh, I didn't mean to pitch it like it was a crazy thing. Again, I, because I want to see Gracie Abrams. Okay. I like Gracie Abrams. I think she's going to be a star. And I think it's really cool that she's opening up for Taylor Swift because she's a fan of Taylor Swift. Okay. And I just think she's a lyrical genius. And I want to see... If I could see her and then see Taylor Swift. And also, I get nervous that I'm not going to like, what if I miss something? Or like, what if I piss my pants and I have to go to the bathroom and I miss like. You do tend to do that. I, I'm the Kendrick Lamar concert. Yeah. I know. Explain so what happened there. Okay. Well, that was just like sad all around. But 
wait, can I just finish my train sure, of thought? Sure, sure. So what if that happens and then I miss something? At least I'll be like, okay, well, there's always next time. There's always in a couple days when I come again. Or what if I just want to see her sing that song one more time? Right. I mean, I just like, we really never know. Like, what if we never get to see her live again? Hmm. I mean, I just don't think that there, like, I think that this is what I want to do. And I know that this is what I want to do is go see her one more time when she's with Gracie Abrams at in LA. And that's fine. Totally. I wasn't, I wasn't. Well, I'm just expecting. saying. That's my, that's how I feel. Thank you all. Everybody is like this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, no, yeah. it's great. I mean, did yeah. you see her on the Fearless tour or which one? Yeah. Fearless tour? It's a great show. No, sweet Gracie no, Abrams you, was on the Fearless no. tour? No. Co- Cody saw her at the Reputation tour. Reputation tour. Fearless oh, was dude. her first. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> we went on a date <laughs> together to yeah. the Taylor Swift show. Mm-hmm. The Reputation. Fe- Reputation. Yeah. Fearless, and Cody, it, Fearless, I was in high school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Gracie, not yeah. that. Crazy Abrams was maybe not born. Yeah. Mm. Not talking about Gracie. Talking about yeah, Taylor. Sorry, t- t- we went to a Taylor show together. Yeah. And you were talking about how much of a production it is, mm-hmm. all the lore and everything. And I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever, babe. Mm-hmm. And then it ended up being uh, one of the best concerts I've ever seen because mm-hmm. she really does like go all out. And commands of- the stage. And this wow. has to be, has to be the highest grossing tour of all time, what she has planned. For sure. Like, like I can't ima- the ticket prices are astronomical. The demand for them is insane. Like she's the number one artist on the planet right now. They're, yeah. I can't imagine how much money this tour is going to generate. Yeah. The ROI of this tour. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but I'm excited. I am too. It's gonna be great. So, so you got tickets Kendrick. to Taylor and Gracie Abrams though? We no, did we not. didn't. We, we didn't. will eventually. The pre-sale didn't. It was just too difficult. You had to keep your phone open on the window and wait for 2,000 people to buy tickets. Right. And we're, we are going another time, so it wasn't like the end of the world. Right. Um, but I, I won't stop trying. Are you going to go through a third party now to get tickets for that night? I might just have to. Yeah. yeah. Seat Geek. Yeah, we can Maybe cut this, but if we have a Seat Geek at right yeah. here. Yeah. 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 That, <laughs> right that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you... The Kendrick concert, you tend to like go to the bathroom at the worst times. Mm. I try not to, but sometimes when I have to pee, I it comes out of nowhere and I really have to pee. You know, mm. like I will, I will actually piss in my pants. You know, so I had to leave. There was like literally two songs that I wanted to hear, and one of them happened as I was peeing, and it was like it felt like the right time. Like it was like, oh, he's playing this song. You should be good, and so I went, and I was not. Good. And then the other one, he just simply he simply just didn't play. Yeah. Mm. He played the chorus and then said, That was enough of that. Kelsey was like, There's two songs I want to hear. It's these two songs. And she's like, I wanna I really she's like jumping around, just doing her pee dance. Mm-hmm. And I was like, You just go. And she was like, No, but if I miss these two songs, I'm gonna be so disappointed. And I was like, It's an hour long set. The chances are that he plays one of these songs. I was like, mansplaining. Yeah, percentages. percentages and odds and stuff yeah. like that, and <laughs> ROI and percentage. Co- and <laughs> opp- I'm like the opportunity cost of going to the bathroom right now is astronomical. <laughs> Just go. You're never gonna get a better opportunity. <laughs> yeah, to yes. invest in your bladder. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And right exactly. now. And so she was like, "Okay, fine." And she goes to the bathroom, and like literally, the door closes, and the song comes on, and I was like, "No, oh, god, god damn it!" Yeah. What song was it? You, well, I like Good Kid, Mad City. That was the one song. that came on yeah. when she was yeah. in the bathroom. And then the yeah. one that she really wanted to hear was Swimming Pools. Yeah. Oh, and what yeah. happened with that? He just, he just sang. Played, the, he said, like, pool full of liquor, then you dive in. And they just stopped. Stopped. Did one line from the song, and that's what? it. What? Yeah, it wasn't great. And I just really wanted to. I just really wanted to hear it. Yeah. I wanted. I went to see him at Coachella. I went to see him at Coachella in 2016 and I was like with a group of people and I was just kind of like, I don't really, I'm not going to say I want to go see anyone. It's just too difficult. And so I was like, the only thing I want to do is see Kendrick Lamar. They were like, totally, totally. Last night I go to all these shitty fucking shows before this. Didn't see Lord, but it's fine. Hold on, you're not, you weren't with us though. I was not with Cody. This no. is the next. This is, yeah. No, it wasn't with Cody. Um, And so, we get to see Kendrick Lamar and all I wanted to do was hear Swimming Pools because it's one of my all-time favorite songs. 
And then everyone was like, wait a second. I, we think Rufus Soul is going to this <laughs> to fucking <laughs> surprise performance at the tent. And I was like, okay, like, bye. And they were like, we have to go. And I was like, fine, Aww. let's go. And so we we're walking away. I had, I was just two tears going down, Aww. wasn't saying anything. And swimming pools started playing no. <laughs> no. as I was walking away. And I literally said to myself, next time he's playing, I have to go see him. Oh, I have to go see him. And then so I went in LA and then he just didn't fucking play the song. This all makes sense now on like why you want to get tickets to Taylor Swift, Gracie Abrams so bad. Because you had this experience. Where it's like, you she, know, she does. Yeah. yeah. You have a little bit of bad luck when it comes to this stuff. Yeah. I, think. I mean. Because I, I think you have expectations. I do. Which is not a bad thing at all. Yeah. But, yeah. Because it happens a lot with, like, your Postmates orders, too. What? Like, we'll get Postmates and hers will be fucked up. But mine won't be. Well, mm. or, like, you just eat. Like, one time, one time we... <laughs> <laughs> no, uh -oh. one time we got... Like, no, yours is fucked up, too. You just inhale it. We got a don't completely notice. wrong order. We got somebody else's order, Kelsey B. Literally, it said it like the wrong name on the thing. And I was like, oh, like, ours is coming. And Cody's like, oh, I'm just... I already ate the sandwich. Like, <laughs> and I was like, are you kidding? Like, okay. Yeah. Gluttony. So, Gluttony, baby. Gluttony. Mr. Glutton. That does sound like Cody. Yeah. That tracks. <laughs> It's a perfectly good sandwich. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. <laughs> no, I, I know. I have yeah. no expectations. If my order's fucked up, I'm like, well, I mean, try, uh, opportunity to try something new, I guess. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I deserve <laughs> what I want. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Cool. So yes, as we were saying before, this comes out on the Friday after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Um. Thankful for another wonderful year. Thankful for. Turning thirty-two. Mm -hmm. We just turned thirty-two. Yep. And every year I do a video on my main channel where I talk about, or I find a BuzzFeed article about like either what it's like to be the age that I just was or what okay. it's like to be the age that I'm right. turning. Yeah. And oh, I compare I and contrast what it, what I'm expecting or what it actually felt like. This year, I don't think I'm going to do one uh, just because I'm kind of sick of doing them. But I thought it actually would be fun to do like a more low key one okay. here okay. with you. Mm -hmm. So this is a BuzzFeed article called 32 Things That Happen the Day You Turn, turn 32. Ooh. This is when I'm finally supposed to feel like a full-fledged adult, or I love that as long as I've been doing these, they've always been about, like, adulting. Right. Yeah. No matter what. Which has been a thing that's, I mean, I just hate that term. Yeah. So let's see what, what this is about. Okay. Number one, you wake up by 8 a.m., if not earlier, and you're totally cool about it. Yep. I mean, that that's every single day. I wake up at like six. Yeah. yeah. Yes. This You're is adulting. true. He is adulting hard. That's, yeah, that's just, yeah, I did a thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. This next one is why I brought this to your attention because this is so relevant to you right now. Yep. It really is. You might have some lower back pain, but who cares? You're awake and ready to seize the day. Okay, that's yeah. not how he's yeah. been handling this. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have debilitating. No, that. I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying you're not like, who cares? Just my back. It's like, fuck. Uh, it's like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you picked that up for me. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing seizing is his back. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it Thank you. fucking hurts. <laughs> Can we play the clip? Of how I hurt my back? Yes. This isn't just generic, like, oh, I, I, I have pain in my back from adulting all day. This is how I hurt my back. In the pit. Yeah. Ouchie. Slotted. Whoa. Deep. No. I was so deep in that yeah. barrel. The barrel itself was like, uh, you got you to gotta get out, you know? Totally. <laughs> You're too deep. Not in a sexual way. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think it was. Didn't think it was. Okay, okay, good. Just making sure. Um, Just making sure. So. The, the barrel was like, let's, okay, dude, get out of here. And I hit the wall. It launched me over the lip, as you can see right there. Yeah. Back's not in an ideal position. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um, That's you know, this is not driver. the standard adulting position. <laughs> no. That is not an adulting move. <laughs> Slam me against the bottom. It was like this shallow. Ugh. And I didn't think anything of it. I just surfed again 
afterwards because I didn't really feel anything too crazy. I just kind of scraped my back on the bottom. And then the next day went golfing and did a lot of this. And you were also, Ooh. you wore heels too. I did. <laughs> Surfing? No, he wore, they all wore heels to the club. You guys wore high heels to the club and that's okay. Our were friend, they from Lowe's? <laughs> they were from Lowe's. Lowe's? Yeah. <laughs> we should say this was your bachelor party. Cody's yeah, bachelor yeah. party. Yes. Our, my friend bought us some shoes that made us all, that uh, gave us three inches of, of height. They just looked like normal shoes. <laughs> they looked like normal shoes, but, but they had like did, lifts like an, in them. If you had like an x ray vision of these shoes, yeah. we were all up on, on their toes, toes. Like we were wearing high heels. <laughs> so we were like all teasing. I was like a lot of my friends are his friends' wives and girlfriends. And so we were like all. They were like, oh, how were your heels last night? <laughs> and like all the guys, were like everyone woke up like so sore, <laughs> like their backs yeah. hurt. Yeah. So this is like a combo. It's just of, a like, combo. Five different yeah. things that culminated. That's a yeah. word, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes. In this, in this in intense back pain right. that I'm having. Right. Wow. It kind of just like yeah. was a recipe for. Yeah. It was all four of these things and then adulting on top of that. Right. So wow. that's the situation I'm in right now. My back yesterday, I could barely move today. It's a little bit better. And I'm just honestly genuinely depressed oh. that I can't run. Yeah, I know. Because oh. it's been like, I don't know, like ever since April, I haven't missed like two days in a row or something like that. Damn. And it just became like the thing that I just did every single morning. And now it's all of a sudden I'm like, I can't do that thing. That fucking sucks. Yeah. It's but it's okay kinda, that it takes a couple of days off so that you can do it for longer instead of trying to push it and then getting more hurt. Yeah, I think the way it feels today, it's like giving me a lot of hope. Oh, good. Like, granted, I did take an Advil <laughs> about an hour ago. <laughs> so that would make some sense as to why I would feel better right now. But percentage wise, like the percentage it feels better today compared to yesterday is up a lot. I'm so, glad. Yeah. Anyways, number three, after a few moments of being awake, you stop. How did this even happen? You look at yourself, or you ask yourself out loud in the mirror, I am a child in a 32-year-old's body. Mm. Classic. Yeah. Do you feel like, a, like, how old do you feel? Not, like, physically, but, like, when you think, like, if someone, like, do you know what I'm saying? Because, like, if someone's, like, how old are, someone asked me how old I am, I would say, like, I don't know, 24. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty close to your... No, it's not. It's like five years ago. Yeah, yeah that's true. How um, old? How, like, I would say, but you're still in your 20s. I, I definitely I'm 29. Feel, yeah, I know. But when I was, I feel like when I was 29, I felt younger. And I, I feel like actually I feel younger now that I'm like training a lot and, you know, was in decent shape, not anymore. <laughs> As of this fucking last week. <laughs> but uh, I definitely feel like I'm solidly in my 30s. Like I, the things I care about. Like yes, sitting I'm with mean, my, like, how much I enjoy just like sitting with the pets and you. And, I agree with that. I don't feel I, like I'm 24 in the sense that I'm like trying to, I'm not acting like 24 year old me was acting. Right. Mm. But like, oh, my flashlight's on because I'm uh, old. <laughs> Adulting. Oh my God. Um, You're reading a menu? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like when I think about the fact that we're like Hello, getting married. Glasses on here. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, glasses. God. Get my flashlight out. Yeah. But like when I think about the fact that we're getting married, I'm like, we seem so young. Like I feel so young. But then I'm like, oh, I'm 29. I guess it's like pretty normal age to get married. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I had more of those thoughts at that point. Now I'm having more thoughts about like actually being ready for the next yeah, stage. Yeah, I feel ready as well. Yeah. Like I I think about, I, I just think about like, I don't know. I just think about like supporting our family a lot more. Mm. Whereas before it was like, okay, how can I support my lifestyle? I feel like we wouldn't have had this conversation about like social stuff. Yeah. If we were, you know, like mid twenties. Anyway. Right. It's just like, yeah, this is the way of life. What do you mean? Yeah. Right. Gonna jump on all these things. Cause it's like life is about partying. Totally. And now it's more about like, okay, how, how are we like going to build like the family life that we want and stuff like that. Yeah. True. So I don't get this number three. Okay. Doesn't happen. Yeah. Especially with this, all this back pain. Um, I'm, so fucking, I'm a child in a 32-year-old's body. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Heights. You ever have that like kind of looming brain fog perhaps in the morning? Um, you know, on days where it's harder to get up to speed. I've been there plenty of times. 
it can really be tough to shake off. But luckily, that's where Heights comes in. Uh, Heights is a smart supplement, and it's so special. It's all about brain care, taking care of your brain so it takes care of the rest of your body. Show your brain a little more love and try Heights. Every ingredient is in a large enough quantity to have a real impact. Quality nutrition isn't cheap. To get everything in the smart supplement separately would cost $137 a month. That would be around 14 pills a day. Who wants to choke down 14 chalky pills? Good luck keeping track of all those in your little fanny pack dweeb. <laughs> I've recommended Heights to family and friends, and they're excited to improve their mental and physical health. And with over 30,000 Heights customers, they would all probably agree too. So it's time to deliver whole body health by taking care of your brain. Tackle brain fog, energy, and sleep issues with Heights Smart Supplement. Just two clean capsules a day with or without food. No tray full of pills, no gross glass of green sludge. To help you get started with brain care, Heights is giving all my listeners 15% off your first subscription order with the code CHILL. Go to yourheights.com and use code CHILL at checkout to get your exclusive discount and start taking care of your brain and body today. Number four, how has no one figured this out yet? and allowed me to be responsible for making adult decisions and left to my own devices. I don't know that you've ever thought like that. No, no, there are a lot of people that don't, that feel like this, and I feel like yeah. it at a lot I of think times. I'm like, yeah. I look at- it's normal. That's what I'm saying, I look at, it always seems like other people have shit way more figured out than you do. Yeah. yeah. And right. I think everyone has stuff that they figured out by this point. Yeah. Whatever it may be. The lifestyle they want, the food they like, finances, job, career, family life but everyone is at like there there are people right now that are my age that have five-year-old kids that are an incredible parent right yeah. i do not have parenting figured out at all because i don't have a child and that's going to be something that i you know co are com feel completely overwhelmed by probably for the next few years right yeah so i think that everyone has this sort of thing obviously the the most obvious one is like finances and i think by this point people still it's still fine to not have career figured out or finances I agree. figured out. A yeah. lot of people hit that stride when they're 40 and in that, de in that decade of their life. Being yeah. in your 30s is still very much a time to figure shit out. Like, it, there's no there's no rhyme or reason. Like, you don't need to be a certain age and be doing a certain thing. Like, it's fine. However long it takes you to figure that thing out, like, that's the path that you should be on. Exactly. I also think there's something with, like, when you're a kid, like, when I was nine and my mom was 30, I looked at 30 and I'm like, fuck, she's old. Totally. Right? But yeah. now yeah. I'm 34. And mm. so that like, how did this happen? Is like, right. I'm in my 30s? Yes. Yeah. And also yeah. you're like, that's kind of what I I feel like I was trying to say or yeah. thinking was just like, I used to think like when I was 29, I would be like the oldest person in the world. Yeah. And now I'm like, I still feel young. Yeah. And I like, I'm figuring it out and it's fine. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't feel like, I thought I would feel when I was 29. Yeah. What's that like? What's that like picture? It's like never stop. You know, it's never too late. And it's like Robert De Niro started acting when he was like 60 or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like Al Pacino or one of those guys. Yeah. I know. Uh, do you know Rodney Dangerfield uh, from Caddyshack? Um, you might recognize him. Yeah. No respect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's staying yeah. up, obviously, but he's also in Caddyshack famously. Um, he started doing stand up at like fifty years old or some shit. Fuck like yeah, that, you know that that shit makes me feel so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I feel like as you get older, that feeling of like, oh, I have I have time. There mm -hmm. are there's time to still chase my dreams, and I have time to figure out what I want. And then you yeah. start getting older, and it's like, oh, there starts to be less and less time. Yeah. So there that that always makes me feel really good when yeah. I see that shit. Yeah, I'm 29 now, and I I feel like I have so much like. You two in a way different position, relationship-wise, obviously financially, career, all that stuff. But like, uh, I, I just moved in with my girlfriend earlier this year, and I feel like we're not even ready to get that first step of like getting a dog. You know, we're still trying to figure yeah. out all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, it's intimidating. There's it so is much to figure out. But it yeah. like you just gotta take it step by step. There's no, there's no like right time to be doing it. You know, you yeah. moved in together, and now just live in that, and then yeah. you know, take it step by step. There's yeah. no rhyme or reason for anything. Sure. You really poop, well. You guys poop in front of each other yet? Yeah, I think it's gotten to the point where <laughs> she's. It was like funny when I would do it. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's like sh I hear like deep sighs when I go in the bathroom. So we got the two bed, two bath. So I've kind of <laughs> sanctioned off one for myself. Nice. That's good. Yeah. Um, I let her take the master bed and then I kind of hide in the corner bathroom. Okay. And I, 
Okay, so we have a we have a speaker. I blast music. Okay. I'll throw. You blast? Oh, that's sweet. I blast music. Okay. I'll run the sync. I thought you were gonna say you have a speaker and you blast the sounds of you shitting <laughs> yeah. out into the. <laughs> I go live on my. You phone. wouldn't like, think if I'm that over here. You're still gonna hear me. <laughs> a little megaphone that you just. <laughs> 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 but I do everything I can, and it's still not enough. I hear if something. You know, if noise happens or whatever, I hear her on the sofa going, no, <laughs> no. I was so that's how it's going. When my wife goes into the bathroom on whatever, like I'll be at my computer. I, like, oh, I got to put music on. Hurry, hurry. Put music <laughs> yeah. On so that- yeah. 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 That is kind of habit. Yeah. yeah. Not so, that we have to talk about pooping anymore. I know. No, I yeah. just. Not the ideal. Cody, thing. you would think that Cody does. It's It's loud. It's loud when he goes in there. Hell yeah, dude! It is. You would think you would think like that, that I wasn't. That you did After put a microphone. You just, you just called next the, to the <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but you know, and then at first I remember being like, should I just like pretend like I didn't hear it? <laughs> like, like, should I pretend and like? Then I go, babe, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> you catch that one? <laughs> Sometimes it's like just. Pretty, There's more where that came from. It's pretty violent in there, and then it just gets quiet in here. Sorry. <laughs> It's the El Pollo Loco from last night. <laughs> you want next? <laughs> we actually did have El Pollo Loco. I love El Pollo Loco. Dave Grohl catered El Pollo yeah. for the crew. Yes, he did. Nice guy. <laughs> Hell yeah. He, yeah. Loves, he loves that place. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got here? You check your Facebook notifications. No, just not even going to read the rest of that one. Yep. You swiftly realize how long ago high school was. Swift? Is that a Taylor Swift? Oh. Is me? that an Easter egg? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not from something. This random I'm article yes. from <laughs> ten that years is, ago. That was me making fun of other Swifties for going too hard on that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, that in six years you'll be invited to your 20 year high school reunion. I don't think about high school at all. Yeah, it's just I forgot it even happened. You also realize that this year you'll be invited to your 10 year college reunion. How have 10 years gone by? I've. I fully seems like 10 years have gone by since I graduated from college. We are also doing this with like, he, Cody's very um, just factual and logical, you know? So it's like you, you are thinking of this not very like emotionally, more like logically, I would 10 say. 10 years have gone by. It yeah. started in yeah. 2012. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> more cerebral. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Whereas I like some people might be more emotional and are like, yeah, yeah. you know. Well, I think about reflecting and memories and I ask myself, what is the ROI of that? <laughs> 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 no, actually, that's one of the things I really like about you is that you actually make me do those things and reflect mm-hmm. and think about more like, I don't know, shit that's happened. Because if you don't do that, then you forget it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I just said, I don't remember. I mean, I remember high school, but like it wasn't that. I don't know. I wouldn't say it was that impactful, even though it probably was. You know? Right. Right. Uh, number 12, you get back out because fuck it. You're still young and beautiful and fun. And I mean, yeah, that's, we had 20 minutes talking about that. Today. Yeah, that's yeah. us. That's us this month. There's one that hits. 13, you also have a lot of work to do today and you don't have time for hanging out under tables. Which is a callback to number 11. Which is you crawl yeah. under a table and cry. Oh. Uh-huh. Don't do that. I don't actually do that either. Unless there's an earthquake. And then I do do that. Yeah. Nice. Number 14, you turn your iPod on shuffle and start jamming to that Mariah Carey song you haven't heard in ages. Wait a second. Mariah Carey's first album came out 25 years ago? How is this possible, you think to yourself, choking on your coffee a little bit? That, I mean, that is like... I could not relate less to this. Is that, is that not the most BuzzFeed <laughs> shit you've ever When was the last time you turned on your iPod? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This was written Fuck for people yeah. who are now in their 70s when they were 32. <laughs> <laughs> Number 15, you pass a newsstand with another one of those 30 under 30 lists, aspiring <laughs> to be included in one of those one day for all your illustrious <laughs> achievements. <laughs> oh, wait. You can't because you're over 30. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, uh, no, I when I see those now, I'm like, ah, fuck, I really fucked that up. Okay, so he does relate to number fifteen. I applied to be on that when I was 29, and rejection. Yeah, yeah. that's they okay. Rejected me. It's all right, dude. It's okay. Did they say why? Did they give reasons, or are they just pass? Or uh, they were like, you're actually 31. 
<laughs> we had a 31 under 31 you yeah, yeah, like, yeah. we didn't see your credit for now we're talking online we can't verify <laughs> <names>. <laughs> yeah good one that's good we can cut that too <clears throat> no that's nope. staying in that's staying in all right <laughs> <laughs> Number 16, you spend a good portion of the day perusing the internet for a fun birthday gift to gift yourself because you deserve it. Cool kitchenware. I'm talking uh, new Vitamix. Gardening tools. An Airbnb destination for your next big trip, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, mm. I guess. I, like, that sort of stuff like kitchenware, I'd say, appeals to me. Me too. Today I spent, like, the morning looking at, like, car cleaning uh, tools. On Why? Because wow. I watched a TikTok of this girl like <laughs> cleaning her car with all these fun little gadgets, and then I went on Amazon. You don't and I need was, like, any more gadgets. I was like looking for a car trash can. <laughs> like, is I it a little know. plastic thing? Yeah. Yeah. We gotta get one of those. You like little plastic? <laughs> I like gadgets little. From I Amazon. like little. I do. She likes life hack gadgets, <laughs> which I mean, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. But yeah, mine, you but. use them though. Yeah, I know. You know. Yeah. I get them for us. A car trash can is a really good idea. I know. Damn. You know what's not arriving at your door tomorrow? A baby. That's what. You're getting a little anxious about your biological clock. No. I don't think that applies to you. It doesn't apply to you because yeah. you're a man. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's a better point, yeah. <laughs> uh, number 19. And so you start frantically looking for evidence that there's still time for you to have a child. Should you want one? What's what's that? Two save by... Okay. Oh, God, this is tedious. <laughs> okay, keep going down. <laughs> Even if you don't want kids for... Okay, keep going down. Uh, yeah. And if you do have a child or your children, you're still kind of in awe of yourself and how awesome you're doing at this parenting thing. Yeah, you. You've got this cool parent thing down. <laughs> this is just like... God damn, this article. Condescending. The author's Sucks. having a breakdown while, Seriously. Yeah. while typing this. Yeah. You go, boss <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> you know, yeah. totally. wait, an adult. Yeah, they wrote a dozen more of these that day. Yeah, no, this feed. This is really cool beans, though. Um. <laughs> Keep going. Yep. Keep yep. going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait. Yep. You set. Wait, go up one more. Yep. You take a few moments to consider how many more peak years you have. Okay. Ooh. That is I would it, say is accurate. You know what? This is like. I actually decide, I just decided that I hate this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Like, this is so fucking stupid. And also, like, there are, we just got done. There are no rules when you're a certain age. Like, how many peak years you have left? Yeah. Like, why is BuzzFeed out here putting ideas into our heads that we should have only a few more peak years left because we're 32? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so stupid. I mean, I, I do. I fucking hate this. I do think that, um, like... It, it was, it's, hmm. by the way I was aging before I started to try and take care of myself again. Yeah. I could see how that would put a cap on the amount of years you have to like okay. feel good and look attractive and stuff but like that. But this is a perfect example that it's never too late to find your thing and find your Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. You know I look what I'm at, saying? I look at both of our parents and I'm like, oh, there's still time to kill it. Totally. You know? And also, yeah. like, yeah, there's no rules. There's no fucking rules, BuzzFeed. And even if it's not your peak year, like, physically, you know? Of course, like, your peak athleticism for a guy is, like, now. I'm pretty sure. In terms of, like, endurance racing, you know? 27 to 32. 27 to 32. But, like, yeah. even for like for triathlon, it's, like, 35. Oh, really? Um, I think. But then you find but, like, peak in So, like, that else. stuff, yeah, is yeah. capped yeah. by a clock. But I'm saying, then you, yeah, yeah, then you're a peak at... Being a dad, or yes. maybe not being a dad, or maybe in your job, or maybe I was gonna say you meet investment someone banking, cool. But yeah. Sure, investment <laughs> banking, <laughs> banking, <laughs> banking, <laughs> banking. Max ROI, right there. Yes, yeah. exactly. I agree. For the record, with yeah, Tennessee, hardcore on that. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. So true. Uh, okay, and then go. You know, this always end. These always end with like the feel good. Like you got this. Yeah, we just beat you up for 30 minutes, but here's... Uh, yeah, and then it ends with... Um, wait, is there... Oh, here we go. And you realize that... Thir and you... Here. And you realize that 32 is going to be a pretty awesome year. Bring on 33, life. 
Wait, why are we skipping 30? Why does it go like 32 is going to be great? So bring on 33. <laughs> well, because it's saying like, oh, let's add another year onto this. I can handle anything. Yeah, let's slow it down, you know? No, oh, sticky buzz you got in your brain. Yeah. It's going to be an awesome, a pretty awesome year, Cody. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty awesome year that you're about to have. Yeah, so let's forget pretty about awesome. that and think about 33. I don't know about you. But I'm feeling 32. Aww, mm. We could sing that song again this year. So what's my birthday gift? I can't tell you. I don't, I don't even know if you're going to like it very much. Really? Mm-hmm. What did you get me last year? Last year I got you the subscription to the barbecue. Oh, good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Every you month. Do that again? No. I wouldn't be mad. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just saying. We, you didn't even uh, eat half of it. Or we, it would, they would get delivered when we'd be like out of town and they would just melt. Yeah. It wasn't ideal, but it was a good gift. I loved the gift though. It Very was good. a good gift. Are you getting them car cleaning accessories this year? Is that what's I might, I might toss in a little car trash can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I must be 32. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean. Wait, what's Kenny B Day can gift? I, can I give you your birthday gift? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, so, wow. uh, you got me one? Yes, <laughs> I got okay. you one for your last birthday, okay? Yeah. And so much time has passed now that I'm going to look insane okay. for giving this to you. But I want to see if you remember what this is from. We worked remotely together for the first, what, year plus? Yeah. So I never saw you yeah. for your birthday. Yeah. So I just had to hold on to this gift Okay. for like, what is it, a year and a half now? Okay. So, okay, or a year? I'm excited. So, Kelsey, would you would you hand this over to Cody? So I want to see if you know what this is from. I'm really excited. This is from a thing called Everything Decorated. Mm -hmm. Right. And we open it up. And yes, I do remember this. Really? Yes. What is it? It's a knife. (laughs) It's like some sort of hunting knife. (laughs) That's, it's a, and it's got a wood handle here. And uh, inscribed on the wood handle, it says, thanks for all the orgasms. (laughs) And... (laughs) For the hardcore fans, they'll remember this is from our Etsy video we did. Yes. Um, what was that, a year and a half ago? And you bought me one as a gift? I bought that for you last summer. That's amazing. For the video or as a gift? As a gift for you, for your birthday, but I never saw you. So I was like, too much time had passed. And I was like, this is weird now. So I just held, I had, <laughs> I've had that knife on my desk for so long. And I was like, if I don't give it to him today, I'm never, I'm going to have to wait till next November. <laughs> Did you ever think about re gifting this to your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust her with that. Like, I'm not giving her a knife. Fuck? It's so funny for someone like a woman to receive this, and she's like, "Thanks, I guess." <laughs> You're welcome. Um, yeah, I have the clip. If people want context, if we, I don't know if people are gonna want to see that. Uh, here's the. Uh... Is this for when you're like when you're killing a deer? You're like also reminded of how good at sex you are. I don't understand. Oh, that's not a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway yeah that was may of 2021 and i think in june or july i was like oh uh i should get on that order because it's gonna take a while right i just immediately thought cody's birthday that's so, so thoughtful yeah so i hope you you know carve up something cool with that yeah i don't know that's all oh my god holy <laughs> shit dude yeah. you got me oh, you got me too <laughs> dude, wow thank you, man. that yeah. is really thank game. you and i yeah. will say you're welcome as well Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> That's amazing. From That's all the work gift. orgasms that you've had. Yes. Yes. Many. Totally. Yes. And many more to come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Hey. Hey. Um, well, yeah, do we want to talk about training? Oh, Kelsey, your your couch to 5K? Yeah. How's that going? It's going really well. <laughs> <laughs> I. Where are you at in the... So I am... Um, I hurt my back this past week. So I can't run very much. Oh no! In the wave pool? <laughs> the surfing at the, my bachelorette party. You went surfing? Yes. In Arizona? Yes. Oh, I didn't know um, there was a wave pool there. My my couch to five k has taken a decline for sure. I kind of stopped doing it because it became not fun. <laughs> it just it got to the point where it was painful and miserable. Is Emma doing it still? No. Aww. We both just. Didn't talk about it and like never spoke about it. It again. was just understood. And then like a couple weeks after, I was like, "Have you been running?" And she was like, "No, have you?" And I said, "No." 
I'll go running with you if you want to start it back up. Just know that. Also, you shouldn't be running like eight or nine miles right now anyway because of your back. That's yeah. true. You should just do like one or two. My marathon is in two and a half weeks. True. So I have to, like, I as soon as I'm good to start again, I have to kind of like start a little bit premature. Why don't we try to go on like a little run and see how you feel? Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. Happy Thanksgiving. Truelove.com. T-R-U-L-U-V-E. Might be sold out. If not, pick some of that up. TMGstudios.tv for the ad-free version of this show and in in the studios tier. Yeah. And a new merch, what? Yeah. Black TMG Friday. merch? Yeah. Oh, and Black Friday TMG sale <laughs> of new merch. Hell yeah. Um, anything else to plug? Uh, follow us on socials at Insanely Chill Pod mm-hmm. on TikTok and IG. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. please, and YouTube please, please. Shorts. YouTube Shorts. We're posting a lot of those. Yep. We're firing right now. Nice so work, Kenny. Thank you. Yeah. No, it's all of us. Yeah. Thanks uh, to everyone. Yes. Very yes. thankful for the team here. Yeah. Very thankful uh, for you and all around very thankful. So thank you. I'm thankful for for you guys as well. Thankful for you. And Thanks, you. Kelsey. And uh, you letting me on this podcast. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye.